Cards of Caraway Consultas, and many Cesar Primes and Supremes Tandas. A commanding I send and daughter and Legamo in Lele. Mandu Solum Leo, Sipamo, some of the Tanganis Catis and Cacachova. Is it to take a little pila? If I not go some green coals, Joe Rotan from Josetina, Napo put in one of my beady, remember that near Camanaco, who can a paratwa. On some labor sees Zepam go to Tanbana, slow me so away. Tanda Lucy of Pamcovana, one Gelumus and Oxo no Tambaba. Let it live and Gelumus of Atico, and the Kuramus of Akura, Baba Corazon, the Kumus of Satan Baba, who to want to buy Pila and Camargo Chova. This is Canon Senegas and his own of seven room sevens. Lord along the small is Lacum Baba, Vula and something as so Kaba sees there, is Lagoman to Tin Parat Wait. Was so Vulana Babona Singane, a Temson Zagoba Singane, and was not one person of the Silapam Tabe. We thank you, beloved. God has brought us, ushered us back to, to the afternoon session. Sibo Utiko and is the city's well, Leo, and a pillow of Parade. We thank the mighty, mighty Lord for, for listening and hearing the message of eternal life. Yenda, by Ubisan and Utiko, the message of, of reconciling with our God. 
Whenever you hear, hear of reconciliation, it means that there was a mistake, there was an error that obtained from, right from the origins. The great error is that right from the origins, right from the onset in the Garden of Eden, Men, men, uh, men slighted from God. The falling of men from the grace is that he failed to keep the, the law of God. By just one, one law of disobedience. Disobedience creates all sorts of sins that are filled up in this world. Man was driven out of the Garden of Eden because God does not entertain iniquity. God chased men out of the Garden of Eden and placed uh, fr fr from all, all sides the cherubims so that they guard uh, the entrance to the Garden of Eden. Men then, then started living outside the Garden of Eden. Now, uh, a human being, because of his nature, he must uh, have something to worship. Out of his nature of creation, now man was supposed to, to, to worship God. Now he found ways of worshiping God whenever he came to difficult situations. He then, uh, through his eyes, here and there, this troubled mankind. He started now seeking all sorts of help, all, all sorts of aid here and there. Then started now committing all sorts of sins. He then tried to find a solution because he is living by guidance of the Lord. He then uh, sought uh, help, he sought some remedies from trees. Then someone said, the, the beast can, can be my aid. Someone said, the stone can be my, my aid. Then mankind uh, find all sorts of avenues to find help. Then some started carving some idols to worship. Then sin multiplied in this world. Then God, it came to a, a measure that God said, I cannot no longer contain this one. Man has sinfully, has committed all sorts of sins. God then... Uh, uh, became so worried for creating mankind. Then God said, what should I do? I, I, should, start, I should now destroy mankind because of the wickedness. Human beings were then destroyed by the flood, Noah's flood. When men perished in the flood, now only eight men, only eight people survived in this world. The only eight who survived in this world from, the, the, the peri from those who perished, they are the ones who filled up this entire universe. Then God saw it fit that he should pick up a, a, a man to stand in, in, in between the gap. Then, then he picked up on Abraham. And then from Abraham, then he, he, he had 
a great nation through Abraham. When does this man know Abraham? He made uh, an agreement with Abraham. He then gave, gave them a commandment to, to follow. Let us have money. Sit down. Let us. Let us go put in your mazana. Critical day. Check it out. This old co co covenant was uh, sharing of the blood of animals, and then through the, that one, through that sacrifice, it was a way of go going back to God. Baba, then go and so get your angel to have Israel. There was a, such a sacri sacrificial uh, service. Then go and so you go and have Israel to pay. This sacrificial service only belonged to the Israelites. God saw that it was not of no, no effect. Then he brought a new covenant by the blood of Jesus Christ. This new covenant by Jesus Christ is a, a, a commission, is a ministry of reconciliation. My daughter, as as we stand in Lutico. Men, let's uh, reconcile to God. My daughter, my father, as we stand in Lutico. Women folk, let's reconcile with God. My daughter, as we stand in Lutico. You children, let's reconcile to God. My daughter, we stand in Lutico. The whole earth, let's reconcile to God. Then Jesus Christ gave us the only begotten Son. He gave us the only him, Jesus Christ, was born as the Son of God here on earth. He said, A child will be born, and he will be the one who will save mankind from their sins. This was a, a new covenant. The old covenant should pass away. After the new old covenant passed away, then it was ushered in a new covenant, which is the gospel. The gospel is the power of God, of God to serve uh, all mankind, starting with Israelites and the Greeks. Paul says, I, I, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God. To save all the, uh, those who believe. The Greeks first. Followed by the Greeks. The Greeks are all, are all hidden nations. Then, beloved, let's, let's read the scriptures. Chapter 5, verse. 18. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. It's 2 Corinthians 5, verse 18. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Is the zonge to us velauti? All things are of God. Into our want to bongo sebe sebe kambangai. All people should walk along uh, the, uh, the will of God. Uti bongo yom kurubes go into go 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 tala zonge. God supersedes all creation. Uti 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 kundo uti kubu baba. It's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All things, all creation are under the dominion of our God who is Almighty. We'll repeat. All things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. All the forms of sacrifices, sacrifices of the lambs, all have been placed aside. 
Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the one who destroys the kingdom of the devil. He is the only one who is given all the powers to destroy the kingdom of the devil. All those who believe in the Son of God become victorious. He is a New Testament, a New Covenant. Through him, all, the, all mankind in this world, they live. All heathen nations, let's be quickened. Jesus Christ is the one who quickens everyone. By believing in him, you get, uh, become quickened. What bothers you, what troubles you? All things come to an end once you, you, you believe in Jesus Christ. His honor is Are they sins? All those are eradicated completely. What is troubling you? Jesus Christ is there. We here are full witnesses. We believed in Jesus Christ and we were saved. We were born again and we got victory in his blood. We are also straight in sins, committed all sorts of sins before we got to, to know Jesus Christ. Now when you got to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, we had faith in him, we were saved, and we got victory over sin. We go to a that's why it is said, repent because of, of that and be converted so that uh, all your sins are forgiven. So that the refreshing times come from the presence of God. Once you do that, you will have overcome the devil. What is the, the devil seeking amongst us here? He's not even our creator. The devil, right from the origins, was a, was a thief. He did not even create any single item. He takes the things of God and makes them his claims that they are his own. What is painful is that you, knowing perfectly well that you belong to God, you are created by God, why do you allow Satan to steal you? Because uh, he knows what he is doing. He knows that you are just fidgeting around without any knowledge of what you, you, are, you are doing. Because he knows his destiny, that he will be cast into everlasting damnation in hell together with his angels. So, so, uh, so if you work for him, if you get aligned to the devil and do all sorts of uh, sinful things, be under the command of the devil, you'll be cast into hell together with the devil. Who's going to start a To see, as, to, as, as a sure sign that the devil doesn't have any power. Now, at the end of the times, only one single, a single handed angel will get hold of him. He will apprehend him and cast him into hell. Beloved, why do you worship such a, a, a person, a powerless person? Why do you worship such a person? Why do you worship such a person? Why do you worship such a person? you out of uh, chased you, driven you out of the garden of Eden, but today he is bringing forth the ministry of reconciliation to you. Go back to God. He brought his son here on earth and he was born here on earth. So that the, his son experienced physically what humankind experienced. All the sufferings we come across, all the encounters, all the difficult situations we encounter in life, Jesus Christ encountered all those. 
even gossiping, Jesus Christ uh, came across it. Even when they uh, had to smite him on, uh, by palms on his uh, face, he experienced that. Even, uh, he experienced all sorts of, 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 of things, even fasting, he experienced that. He experienced all those experiences and encounters so that he will also be, he will lead us through those sufferings. Let's go on, let's proceed. Verse 19. The 19th verse. Gunga tutiko Ngayo Christu. To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. The, the, the ministry of reconciliation that was committed, it was committed unto us. You are a human being. This minister of reconciliation is committed to you. You are a human being. You, you don't belong to the devil. According to the will of God and according to the purpose of God, he wants everyone to re re reconcile to him. Because God is the only one who created everything and created all mankind. He says these people have made them of my own to show forth my praises. But if you are sh sh showing forth the praises of the devil, to whom do you belong to? Don't follow, don't worship any person who did not create you. If I'm getting a to so this way. The, the gospel is for us all, especially the hidden nations. God closed the, the, the door, the entry into the, the, these messages of the gospel for, to the Israelites because, they, because of that disbelief. But now, fortunate enough, the apostles believed in it, and they have now departed into glory. So if Now, we, uh, we have believed in Jesus Christ. God has engrafted us into the Israelite nation, now be belong to the Israelite nation by birth, in the new birth in the blood of Jesus, Jesus Christ. The, the Israelites, even today, up to, the, to, to date, they are still following all traditions of sacrificing the lambs. But we, the, uh, the heathen nations, through these messages of God, now if you, if, if you don't... Uh, accept this message of, of, of God and you are continuing to, to denounce them, what do you think will happen to you? Repent and believe the gospel. The gospel is yours. God, God appointed this for you. God is looking forward to you to reconcile with him and take up the gospel which, because it's yours. The doors to this mercy, to, to, to this gospel, will be closed to us, the heathens, and it will be turned back to the Israelites. Now, when it is called today, believe in God, in the message of God. Because the doors to this, uh, this gospel message will be closed to the heathens and opened and Turn, return back to the Israelites. Believe the gospel. We are progressing. Uh, verse 20. Verse 20. 
Singabatunya, no Christo. Go on to Tico anywhere and aunt. Sending Musa, my old Christo, with Sanani no Tico. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. We pray you to God. We are beseeching you, even though we are not, not fit for this mission. People, humankind, out of his nature, he is looking forward to seeing wonderful people, amazing people. But to us, we are just people, ordinary people, out of simplicity. So penduga ukore vangel. Then we are beseeching you to repent, go back to God, and believe the gospel. Lata inta ndwenya mo, tati inta ndwenya mo. Cast away the will of the flesh and take up the will of of the spirit. Tuan jala useko gulata, kwa bako kresi chesu. Mwaka kambi wa kambi wa kambi wa kambi wa kambi wa kambi wa There is no damnation, there is no condemnant, condemning, to those who follow the spirit. Now such a beseeching, God is beseeching you. Do you think you don't qualify to such messes? Repent, go back to God. God is waiting for you. Put into the will of God and cast away the will of the devil. Let's go on. Verse 21. Verse 21. For he hath made him to be seen for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. When Jesus Christ was ushered, got into this flesh, he got into this flesh for us. So that he tests and feels uh, how flesh is like. He overcame all kinds of evil when he was in the flesh. He set to us an example. Jesus Christ uh, accomplished his, his mission here on earth and he departed back to glory. Even today, he's in the, right on the right, right, right hand side of God. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is the Lamb of God. The Lamb is that, the Lamb is that he has to be sacrificed like a lamb for us. Now, sacrificing of the lambs came to an end when Jesus Christ came in, took up the ministry. And Jesus Christ, instead, in the place of these uh, lambs which are sacrificed, Jesus Christ was sacrificed for us. Why what you Jesus? Jesus Christ asked, said, if this, uh, Jesus Christ asked God to, to, to do his, his word. So Jesus Christ came into difficulties, but now he persevered. He long suffered till the end. So now the sufferings of the, the Son of God do take them just as ordinary. Now the suffering of Jesus Christ all, all, all the way do just take it simply. Now, if you take it up, you believe in it. Now, repent. Then run away. Flee from everlasting punishment. Don't be drawn by, by, by the flesh. Don't be drawn away by the lust. 
it will lead you to destruction. We thank God. Let's proceed. Uh, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25. Isaiah 43, verse 25. Isaiah 43, verse 25. Isaiah 43, verse 25. Imina, mina, oye sula is at Gosako. Nyanga yami, Agisaigu, Kukumbura is on Zako. 25. I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgressions for mine own sake and will not remember thy sins. This is God telling us mankind. Jesus Christ committed himself, sacrificed him, him, himself for us now to do the same. He says, I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgressions from, for my own sake and will not remember thy sins. For, Verse 26. Nikumbuza, masasulelane, ishowena, unguba utetele. For my own sake, I will not remember thy sins. Verse 26. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Lapo God out of his mercy is beseeching you. He is showing you what you have to do. He said, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Don't look forward to a priest uh, to, to do this for you. He does not have a place here. When it comes to justification, don't look for the priest to, to help you out. He has no place for, for this. Don't, don't seek any other person to help, help you to, to pray to God. Now the responsibility is yours. We thank God. We love it. God is with us. Only if you go according to the, His will, you obey Him, now God will also uh, bless you. God is with, is with, with us. Now if we flee to Him, we uh, repent and go back to Him. God listens to our prayers. So we are with us. He's pleading with you. He's beseeching you, uh, beloved. Where are you? He's beseeching you using us. We are, we are now praying uh, to you on behalf of God. Listen to us and uh, obey whatever is being disseminated here and repent. Jesus Christ is, is he yesterday, today, and forever. Now, if you don't listen to all these, which, all, all these admonitions, now we are, we are leading to everlasting punishment. You are leading to death of the, the soul and, and the body. Now, which is very dangerous to you. People are fear, fearful of, of death. People are fearful of death. Whenever they come across uh, death, they tremble and become so fr frightened because they have never seen the second, de second death. Second death is coming. After second death, you will be resurrected. Then you, go, you will stand before God with all the lepers you will have done here on earth. If you had committed sins, you will stand before God with your sins. I see a lepers in Roma. 
Let's go to Titus chapter 3. Titus chapter 3. Titus chapter 3. Verse. Verse 3. Verse 3. Verse 3 For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy. Hateful and hating one another. Just as is Buddha. Now we ourselves were, were, were foolish. Buddha was sure lapa. I see about him testing a fundangai. The foolishness which is being spelled out here is it doesn't mean that you are not educated. Bakona wa fundi lepa is Buddha. There are some highly educated people, acad uh, academics. Now yet they are foolish. Bakona wa fundang what means Buddha. There are some people who are not educated, but they are uh, foolish. All sorts of uh, all forms of mankind they uh, they are embraced in this foolishness. If you are not born again, you are uh, you are a fool. If you don't obey to what God says, you are a fool. If you listen, you obey what the devil says, you are foolish. Flee away from the devil. Uh, be someone who is wise. God says, be wise. Uh, now, uh, wisdom is to depart from sins. We thank God, dear beloved. Mugua nati saka gate sasi is pugupu. Abanga la lio. Only so good as a tam sikara as. Verse three. We ourselves were also sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers, lust and pleasures, living in malice, envy, hateful, and hating one another. Yebo. Now you see now the sin of Adam, we start with it. Avantu gave us a best and People added sin unto, uh, up, up, upon sin right from the first sin that was committed by Adam. We're disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lust and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. We're serving diverse lust and pleasures. Now the, this body is desirous of all these uh, such kinds of lust. Now serving diverse lust and, 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 and pleasures. Mankind is fond of taking this uh, and, that, and that one out of his pleasure in order to use it. I top which are as long as you tang, I think of Toguni, as long as you tang, I think of a fuzzy, as long as you tang, I think of a daughter, as long as you tang, I think of me, as long as you tang, as a gonke, as long as you tang, if you have not over Namagonka, what are you to He picks up a mark of, of beer, but is, is not even satisfied. Picks up on women, is not, not even satisfied. He picks up on, on all sorts of, of, of things. But it never comes to a, a degree of uh, satisfaction of this pleasure. Living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. We're hating one another. We're hating one another. We couldn't avoid uh, hating each, each other. Out of uh, the sinful sin, sinfulness we were follow, following. Now I, I, I give birth to, uh, to uh, my beautiful uh, daughter and you just grab her away. 
And I married a beautiful woman. You, pro you pro propose love to her. Now, as I am just relaxing with, with my family, you then send a lightning to me. Then the, the devil tells me that is you who did all, all this. Then you, that led to our hatred. We became evil before God. We became so evil before God. Because mankind says, if a person is like this, who follows pleasures, this is a man indeed. Someone who bewitches others, they say is a man indeed. Uh, the, the one who is a humanizer, they say this one is a man indeed. That's why even uh, the disease which follows the, the, those who are humanizing, they say it's ST, uh, STIs, uh, that, meaning to uplift them out of uh, their sinfulness. We are of that kind of nature. Don't see us clean like, like this. Uh, don't see us uh, in such a godliness. We are like them. We are like them. Each and everyone uh, here before you, if we manage to give you a, a, a testimony of how we're living and how we are today, you can be shocked. Verse 4. Verse 4. But after that, the kindness, or, kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward us, men appeared. But after that, the kindness of God, of but after the kindness of, of, of God and the love of God toward men appeared. And not by works of righteousness which we had, uh, had done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Saints, we met the righteousness by God. God uh, is willing, God is able to transform a, a, sin, a sinful person to someone who is righteous. Saul, on his way to Damascus, wanted to destroy the, the gospel of God. His, we, his life was going in opposition direction to the will of God. Now, on his mission to destroy the, the, the gospel of, uh, of our God, living God, God had extended his mercy on him. Then God set him free out of his messes. Zacchaeus also desired to see what, what kind of a person Jesus was. Now he was desiring righteousness. Now, by desiring to see Jesus Christ, this clearly is an eloquent voice that he was desiring righteousness. Then heaven saw that Zacchaeus was desiring righteousness. Do like Zacchaeus. Seek Jesus Christ. Seek uh, Jesus Christ. Seek Jesus Christ. Zacchaeus uh, desired to see Jesus Christ. Zacchaeus did not only see, uh, desire to see Jesus' physical stature, but he wanted to see, uh, to, to, to meet the will of God through Jesus Christ. So, then God had to, to meet him uh, on, on, on the way. Because heaven knew him. You also are known by, by heaven. Repent and move, move towards the, the will and grasp the will of God. 
Uchezo ya chofika kwa mwanti zakeo. Yesha, namta nyamu, sheni nyamu, wei zili yako. Jesus Christ, as he arrived at the point where Zacchaeus was, he said, Zacchaeus, come down. Today, I will dine with you in your house. Bahamba, uchezo ya zili yako zakeo. Wakazu kuruma, senga nsenge nyo 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 now they proceeded to his house. When they were, uh, they were seated on, on the table, now he felt the great joy because salvation had been shut, ushered in to Zacchaeus. Jesus Christ then said, Light has, been, has come to this house. Righteousness has come to this house. Jesus Christ, we are talking, the same Jesus Christ we are talking is is the one we, we are talking about today we are propagating his message about he is the same yesterday today and forever if you believe in him you are inviting him if you are, if you don't believe in him you are, you are, you are chasing him away from your life now if you are driving jesus christ away from your life this means that you are inviting the devil this means that you you, you want uh, everlasting uh, death repent my beloved now jesus yes jesus christ beseeching you it's cutting a circle the time is yours he is in the midst of us Verse 6. Let's come to verse, let's read verse 6. It am to Jesus Christ um this We are talking of the Holy Spirit here. Verse 6, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Uguze silungi iswe. Uguze wake. Senziwe izindamafa wetemba. Verse 7. That being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. So that we are made, uh, we are justified by the grace of God. God justified us by his graces. As you, right as you see us here, we are justified by the graces of God. God can justify you today by his graces if you only believe. Since you are before the gospel of God, before the word of God, this means that uh, there is something you are desiring from God. Yes, the word of God is in the midst of us here. Believe the gospel. We are within this. You will be saved. You will be saved. Verse, verse 7. Verse 7. That being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Now the heirs according to the hope of eternal life? Don't you want to be the heir of heaven? You want to, to be the heir of the inheritance of your father? You want to, to be the heir to the, uh, to the heritage from the insurance companies? You want to, to be the heir to uh, uh, the, an earthly heir of, the, of the, any earthly wish, riches or wealthy? Ah, you just need to be the heir to the inheritance of your father. Now, we are heirs to this eternal life through believing in the, word, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God, Verse 10. The 10th verse. The 10th verse. 
For we must all appear before, uh, before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it is good or bad. Whatever will have done in your body, now your body is, 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 your, is a cheat. He draws your, your, your life to, to, to all sorts of things, all, all sorts of, of sinful things. So if the spirit is over, over, overcome by the lust of the flesh, now your, your spirit will lead, will, be, uh, lead, will result into everlasting punishment in hell. When we had such a, a, a judgment at the end, we then fled from, from the devil, we fled was... from the, the lust of the flesh and came to, to God. Jesus, Jesus Christ then met us hairs. Uh, to, to, to has to this inheritance by believing in his in his name. My beloved, don't you want such a, don't, don't you desire such an inheritance? Jesus Christ is in the midst of us. He is beseeching you. You are besought and you straight in, in sins. Now, today, Jesus Christ is beseeching you into righteousness. Call out Jesus. Believe in Jesus Christ. The, the Lord is beseeching you into righteousness. The word is near you, near your mouth, near your heart. The, the, the word of uh, which we be, believe in. Now, if you, uh, you, you have got faith, you believe with, with your heart. Now, uh, you, if you believe with your heart, now you will obtain uh, everlasting life. Jesus Christ is beseeching you today. He wants you to be saved. He does not want, want anyone to, uh, to get lost. The devil does not want that. He wants you to go the opposite direction to, uh, to, to the will of God. Now the world is now perishing because of, of the devil. The devil sees that the time has come to an end. God also sees that the time has come to he an end. That's why the gospel is propagated God by this. Believe in the gospel, my beloved. Flee away from the devil, my beloved. Come to Jesus Christ, my beloved. Jesus Christ is merciful, is full of love. He does not, he is, is not like earthly people. He says, if, if my own people who are made by, by, who are made by, who were made by, by my own word, now if they humble themselves and seek my face and pray, I will hear from he heaven and for, forgive them of their sinfulness. Listen, my beloved, you are now right before the, the word, word of God, listening to, to it. Don't make a, 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 a U10 get, getting away from the will of God, getting into the, into the jungle of, of, of sins. Draw closer to, to, to God. Believe in, in Him so that you get this righteousness. We thank our, God, our Almighty God who had mercy on us by forgiving us our sins. We are now focused to heaven. Our eyes, our sight is focused heavenly. Where Jesus Christ cometh from. We will transform our earthly bodies and be a of glorious bodies like his. That is what we are waiting for, dear brethren. 
We are waiting for that transformation of our body. Jesus Christ is coming soon. He will rapture us from this wicked world and get into everlasting life. Don't you want this? Repent and believe the gospel. May the Lord richly bless us by His word. Jehovah, we are Amen. Amen.